Right. He can run all the home. Listen. He can cut the f off. Them feet ain't gonna work. He better do more footwork, Joe. He told me to do footwork, Joe. He better f one yeah. for sure. Because guess it's what? It's 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 you can run, but you can't hide. Regis. Quote the old Joe Lewis. Yeah. Yeah. You can run, but you can't f got short arms. Yeah. And all of the video out. Hitting the bag. Yeah. With his size on. And he think that. He he was doing something. Why would you put that video out? He put a video. He put a video out. He got size and shit. Right, right. But he hit the bag soft as a. Mother <laughs> he's sitting down on it. You can see his muscles coming out of his back, and the bag squeaking. The bag ain't doing shit. And the <laughs> training with Freddie Roach. That ain't gonna do shit. Freddie Roach, you ain't gonna do shit. Freddie Roach ain't gonna be. Pacquiao can't fight for him. That shit ain't gonna do nothing. We got Junior. We got Junior. That shit ain't gonna do nothing. He got he got size and shit. That shit don't mean nothing. He look big, he gonna be a big mother. Knock the fuck out, watch. He gonna be laying on that fuck ground. That's what happened to him. He got side hitting the bag. Why would you? Hey, if you watching this, bro, why would the fuck you put that video out? You hitting the bag soft as fuck. You put size on, but you hitting the bag soft as a mother. Why would you even put that video out? Nah, nah, I'm even more confident. I know I'm gonna knock you the fuck. I know already, but I thought you put some size on that, you know, you might hit a little harder. You hitting soft as and you say you go knock me out. You say you ain't knock out f nobody. You got 15 knockouts about f Uber drivers, taxi drivers, bartenders, f um, janitors. Come on, man. Nigga that work at Walmart. Come on. Tell the truth. Come on, man. Tell the truth. Tell the truth. Oh, y'all done around and got the chat, man. It's over with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's over here. My man of God. You know. Handy. You done got the chance, man. He mild, low key, family man, husband. Oh right, my right, God. Right, yeah. Your ass is in trouble. <laughs> yes, yes. I said the gloves are off, the love is off. Regis Pro Gray talking greasy gets real spicy to his upcoming opponent, Devin the Dream Haney, in a recent video. That's what I want to talk about in this video. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Make sure you come in, subscribe to the channel. This is your one-stop shop for all your boxing needs. My name is Ego, the best in the business, and it's not even close. The clip you seen at the beginning, and I had to censor it, a lot of curse words from Regis Progray as he prepares for his upcoming Devin Haney fight in December. Now, just to paraphrase, you guys, if you didn't hear, you can, for whatever reason, rewind this track and picture me rolling. Go back to the beginning and then come back to my speech. I want to give you guys the ego thoughts. Now, he keeps saying Devin Haney got some size to him, but that don't mean ish and things like that. Now, I think this is one of the problems with this new generation in just terms of like speaking and getting on Twitter and speaking your mind and Dear Diary and things like that is it completely removes the skullduggery. It completely removes the mystique and enigma behind what you're really thinking the more you talk. Like anybody that's following my channel, this is just who I am as a person, but I, I'm outspoken when I need to be, but there are spots where I don't really say anything. Like, There'll be some BS news that comes about in the world of boxing, and I won't even make a video. Sure, I could just clickbait you and make some money and get some easy clicks on certain things, but I don't. I just don't enjoy that. So sometimes saying less is more. Now, I say that for Regis Progray because at the end of the day, he's getting ready to fight Devin Haney, and he keeps remarking about Devin Haney's size. Like, oh, he can't hit. He's soft. He punches soft. But he keeps going back to his his size and like they say there's a lot of truth said in jest and the fact that he keeps making that a focal point leads me to believe that this is something it's almost like a freudian slip or the brain will subconsciously do these little things where things that are resting on your subconscious somehow some way take form in the words of words or whatever in the way of words and that's what it seems like here with Regis Prograde. Maybe deep down inside, he's like, man, okay, Devin Haney is bigger than I thought. Because if you listen to, he did this video, he said it, I think at the press conference and things like that, he keeps remarking and making comments about Devin Haney's size. Now, as far as Devin Haney, you know, he's saying he can't hurt him and can't bust a grape, you know, wouldn't bust a grape in a fruit fight, stuff like that. I don't know. We'll see in December. But I do think Regis Progray is putting a lot of pressure on 
I haven't seen Devin Haney. I mean, Devin Haney's saying a couple slick things here and there, namely at the press conference. But Regis Progray is kind of the one that's going out and about and kind of going out his way saying he can't punch, he can't hit. So I tell you all the time on my channel, the most dangerous thing is a camera and a microphone. These words could come back to haunt Regis Progray, potentially, depending on the outcome of the fight in San Francisco in December. The reason being is you keep saying Devin hits like a girl and Devin has no power. Devin in that department really has nothing to lose. He's the guy that you're roasting his power. He's the guy moving up in weight. He's the guy who's a challenger, not a champion. And you keep focusing on his power saying, oh, he can't hurt. What if somehow, some way he feels better at this new weight and, you know, sits down on his shots? What if he does actually hurt you? You know what I mean? So, again, I can't tell a fighter what to say. Regis Progray got to, you know, get it how he lives it. He's from New Orleans, and, you know, he got to say what is on his mind. But I know boxing, and depending on the outcome of this fight, is going to look crazy if Devin Haney somehow, some way, hurts Regis Progray in there. But then if... On the flip side of it, if Regis Progre goes in there and does all the stuff he says, then he'll come out looking like, you know, a prophet. If he's like, oh, I'm going to go in there, stop him, because that's what he's calling for. I just personally, what it boils down to is I think Regis Progre is putting a lot of pressure on himself. Like, Devin Haney's not really doing this. He's the challenger. He's moving up. He's not saying how it'll end. When these fighters have these, like, Mystic Mac uh, predictions, especially if they sound very emboldened, and like, oh, I'm going to knock him out in one round or this guy can't hurt me. You're always going to look crazy if that is proven to be false because it's like Maury Povich. The lie detector test determined that was a lie. So I like it for an entertainment value. Regis Progray talking spicy, but he's going to have a lot to pay. H-E double hockey sticks to pay if he gets hurt in there with Devin Haney. I will keep you guys posted. Subscribe to my channel for the best in the business. Devin Haney, Regis Progray coming soon. And I'm out. Introducing Super Thanks. Right here on the official Boxing Ego YouTube. Super Thanks allows you, the viewers, to show a little bit of extra gratitude, which enables me as a full-time content creator to push out the content you need in the world of boxing. Underneath all the videos, you will see a heart with the dollar sign in it. You can enter any amount that you find suitable as a Super Thanks. A brand new interactive and colorful way to get your comments highlighted and noticed by not only myself, but other people on the YouTube platform. Super thanks, a unique and cool way to show and applaud us full-time content creators. Hopefully you guys enjoy the content. Super thanks. The future is now. The Hibernation Fives by Kenichi Bear. Hybrid gaming and lifestyle headphones. Out of the box, you can connect to any console or PC. Bluetooth ready with a low latency USB adapter, color RGB, and extreme bass mode. The Hibernation 5s adjust to you. Whether you need a gaming, travel, gym, or lifestyle headphones, the Hibernations got you covered. The new Hibernation 5s, link in the description. Customize the way you hear the world. Welcome to the nation. Are you tired of your YouTube videos not getting any views? Well, consider TubeBuddy. I've used TubeBuddy for years to scale up my YouTube channel. Now we're sitting over 200,000 subscribers. TubeBuddy is a browser extension that offers a ton of built-in productivity and time-saving services to take your channel to the next level. Use my link in the description to get started with TubeBuddy and level up your channel faster. We work it.